One of the common mitigation strategies we can use during an incident is to simply add capacity to handle unexpected traffic or load. However, this only works if there's capacity available. Running out a resource quota can make a minor incident into a major one. Today, I'll show you how to keep track of quota usage in your projects with cloud monitoring. This is the Stack Doctor. Google Cloud enforces quotas on resource usage for project owners, setting a hard limit on how much of a particular Google Cloud resource your project can use. Let's start by reviewing the basics. There are two types of resource usage that we limit with quota. The first one is rate quota, such as API requests per day. This quota resets after a specified time, such as a minute or a day. The second one is allocation quota, such as the number of service accounts created in your project. This quota does not reset over time, but must be explicitly released, typically by deleting the resource. You can see quotas in your project by going to the quota screen under the IAM and admin menu. From there, you can see all the quotas in your project and how much of them you're using. You can use this to figure out if you're out of a particular quota, and that's great, but how can you be more proactive about this and prevent quota limits from getting in your way, especially when you need more capacity quickly? Well, the good news is that you can get this information in cloud monitoring and even set up alerts against it. Let's take a look. You can use the consumer quota resource to see the available metrics. There are two quota usage metrics for rate and allocation. There's a metric for the quota limit. And finally, a metric showing you how many times you've actually hit that limit called quota exceeded error. Start by selecting the quota limit metric, then filter it to just the logging service and the write request per minute limit. In my project, that limit is set to 60,000. That's a lot of logging. Now let's add another metric showing how much of that limit we're actually using. This time, use the rate quota usage metric. And again, filter it to the logging service. In my case, I'm nowhere near the limit. This is good news. Finally, you can configure an alerting policy that can notify you if you actually hit quota limits in your project. Use the consumer quota resource in the condition configuration and select quota exceeded error as the metric. Now group it by service and configure the alert to fire if any time series exceed the threshold. Now you'll know if you hit any quota limits in the project. You should know that not all services support quota metrics at this point. Refer to the documentation link that we'll add to the show notes for details on that. Monitoring quota usage in your project is a great way to proactively make sure you always have the capacity you need if there's an unexpected spike in traffic. Thanks for watching and come back soon for more. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.